But when it comes to balancing work and family, there, there haven't been a whole lot of bads because we've made choices uh, in the past that are probably, um, by other standards, kind of stupid. I made choices to leave at you know, 3.30 because there was a softball practice. And if we didn't get something done, we didn't get it done. We've chosen not to grow the company really large. Um, we've, we've stayed at a boutique size because we feel like if relationships are all we have, that's the best way to serve our clients. We live in a neighborhood with a lot of very well-paid, affluent, overworked, exhausted people. And, and I walk around our neighborhood or take the dog for a run and there's all these stories going on inside homes and we know, we know a little bit about them. But I know that there's been choices made that have consequences for the emotional health of the kids, the, the sanity of a marriage, and just the ability to sleep well at night. And I've really tried hard over the years to push some of that stuff that stresses a marriage, stresses a family, to the side and, and and those have been in the eyes of some kind of dumb decisions but I'm really happy so